Just a quiet, unassuming residential street in Vaughan. From the outside, you wouldn't think it, but one of these houses has one of the coolest man caves you'll ever see. Hi, I'm Jason Schron, and I got a train in my basement. Come on. A mock circa 1980 via rail car to be exact. Drywall on the outside, authentic on the inside. This was the type of car that traveled everywhere. This went from Halifax to Vancouver to Churchill, Manitoba, Montreal, Toronto. This is a dream come true for Schron, but it took plenty of time to get here. The entire process detailed in 26 seconds in a video posted on YouTube over the weekend. It took me four and a half years, and I, I estimate about 2,500 hours to build this. And so I made so many mistakes that I had to redo everything. <laughs> but it was worth it. The final product is as close to the real thing as possible. Cheap Most of the parts came from the real door. thing. But this is an original cheap plywood storage locker door that was built by CN in the 1960s for this car. Uh, you've got the conductor's valve. You've got the original uh, coat hooks, the, the original uh, uh, window blinds. But Again, close as possible, impressive. not exact. So do you have a washroom in here? Now? Yeah, it's just over there. Oh, cool. What is this? Well, I turned it into a music room. Harrison. Nice. It's Shron's home office, but he says he couldn't have done it without the patience of his wife, Sidora, who he calls a saint. Uh, so it was a long process. It was a lot of discussions. Um, but the truth is, it means a lot to him. And, um, and therefore, it, you know, it, it means a lot to us. And the rail car in the basement is actually just phase one. Phase two begins here in the upper level of the basement. It hasn't started yet, but Jason says he will start working on it soon enough. I plan to spend the next 30 to 35 years building a model railroad showing downtown Toronto and the railway line from downtown Toronto to Brockville, Ontario. So why does he do it? Tron says it's for his own enjoyment, a quiet place to chill out with friends or do some work. No plans to open it up for tours. Mark Carcassel, Global News.